Welcome, it is a continuation of the previous lecture and we, we are going to consider here the performance assessment under bifrequency spread spectrum DPWM using experimental result. So here we will first talk about briefly touch upon the FPGA implementation aspect for our hardware and then we want to show the hardware implementation detail of voltage mode bifrequency DPWM then comparative study of power spectral density using experimental result and also the impact on the transient performance using experimental result. So, we have discussed about this bifrequency modulation technique in detail and this conceptual waveform also we have discussed in the previous lecture and the details about this technique is discussed in this research paper. And in this technique what we are going to design, first of all we have already designed this block using Verilog HDL in the previous course, the previous lecture and we are going to consider our hardware prototype which we have discussed multiple times that we have used inductor value this, capacitor value this. In this case we are consider, we have considered input voltage of 5 volt, reference output of 1.8 volt, switching frequency nominal. So, this is our nominal switching frequency 200 kilohertz and we have changed the load resistance between that means 13.5 and then the switch load is connected or disconnected based on and this will create load step up and step down transient. And this is our uh, schematic diagram. Now, the other harder detail, we have considered a digital PID controller. We have considered a digital PID controller, digital PID controller and the implementation of digital PID controller we have discussed multiple time and these are the KP, discrete time integral gain and discrete time derivative gain. Though we are using 10 bit ADC, but we have discarding 1 bit because otherwise ADC bit should not be higher than DPWM. In fact, it should be smaller than DPWM, but since DPWM resolution we cannot increase beyond 9 bit because we are using 100 megahertz the digital controller clock that is our F clock and our switching frequency is 200 kilohertz nominal. So, we cannot have better than 9 bit resolution, but we can drop one more bit to the ADC, but it will affect the regulation. That is why we kept 9 bit and it is more or less we are getting, we are not getting as such limit cycle oscillation. That is why we have continued with this design. And we know that voltage feedback gain is 0.27 and we are using an equivalent RAM voltage of 2 volt. Now, we want to show experimental case study of power spectral density and we have considered at 5 volt input. 1.8 volt is the desired output. The equivalent load resistance is 0.322 and we are getting a nominal load current uh, which is around experimental you are getting 5 ampere load current. And this is the power spectral density where this is the FFT of inductor current. These are the spectral peak. These are the spectral peak. And this is the fundamental component where k equal to 1, this is the switching frequency. This is the DC component where it will be k equal to 0, then this will be k equal to 2, k equal to 3 and so on. And it is visible that this frequency is because it is 125 kilo, this is 250 kilohertz. So, this point is 200 kilohertz. Okay. Now, and this is the waveform of the inductor current and you can see the inductor current this division is 5 ampere and the output voltage here the division is 0 0.5 volt and it is V0 is 1.8 volt okay? and you can see the average load current is roughly 5 ampere that is the induct load current, average inductor current is the load current. Same operating condition we have continued with the bi frequency and what we have used? we have hopped between two switching frequent period that means TSW1 which is nothing but TSW1 which is 5.1 microsecond 
and TSW2 is our 4.9 microsecond and we have discussed that this TSW1 is nothing but the TSW nominal plus delta TSW and this one is nothing but 5 microsecond and we, we have discussed that TSW is nothing but 2 percent of TSW nominal. Okay. So, that means TSW1 is TSW nominal plus delta TSW and this is nothing but TSW nominal minus delta TSW and the, this and the effect and this we are changing TSW1 for 20 switching cycle. and this is also followed by 20 switching cycle. So, every 20 switching cycle we are changing the time period for case of bi frequency deployment here the time period is fixed and you can clearly see the spectral padding is happening. So, their base point is 200 kilohertz, but the power spectrum is getting distributed and it is creating also slowly these things have created side loop you can see the side loops are created. So, that means the spectrum, the power spectral density, I mean the peaks are going down and this can improve EMI. But inter and interestingly, if you see this ripple, because they are changing periodically, but this impact is not significant compared to the unmodulated case. That means this is under, so this is the periodic mod frequency modulation, right. We are using periodic frequency modulation and this is like a unmodulated or basically fixed uh, fixed frequency. So, there is insignificant impact. Now, our next question interesting point how it is going to affect the transient performance because this technique actually the closed loop is on all the time. And this was proposed in the research paper that we have presented. I mean, this research paper we have presented this result. So, you can get the detail in this paper. Next, if we go to the transient performance, we want to see. You see, this is a load step up transient under fixed frequency modulation for a load step up of almost 5 ampere load step. And how much is the undershoot? Because this division is around 0.5 volt. So, the undershoot delta V0 is roughly around how much? It is around 250 millivolt. And what is the settling time? So, settling time it is 40 microsecond. So, it is roughly around T settling is like 30, 30 microsecond you can think of. And there is a current overshoot also. Now, if we compare the same thing with the bi frequency DP problem you see that effect is insignificant because the same the delta V0 here also 250 millivolt and here slight oscillation, but here also settling time is you can see that TS is almost 30 microseconds. So, that means the transient step up transient performance is almost unaffected. You can see slight oscillation because this periodically it is changing. Okay, otherwise the response look quite similar. Now, the step down transient response. So, this is a step down transient response for fixed frequency PWM. So, you are getting almost 200 overshoot is almost 200 millivolt and the settling time you can say it is taking up to this cycle because there is some sort of slow damping or even if you consider this. So, settling time is coming around 40 almost 3 that means 120, 120 microsecond. Now, if we talk about this, you can see that even this is getting settled fast. I mean, in fact, if you take this as the settling time, I would say if you take this as the settling time, this is more or less settled here. That means, the settling time is nearly you can say 40 
like a 70 microsecond. Here also it is settled, so it is like a 70 microsecond is the settling time and overshoot is also same as this 200 millivolt. That means the bifrequency for 2 percent it has hardly any effect in the transient performance. So, what we can conclude that if we can do it properly then there will be insignificant impact in the transient performance which is very important for us. But at the same time it can achieve you know kind of considerable spectral spreading peaking. The peaking can be reduced and by spreading the spectrum and that is the interesting part. So, in summary we have discussed FPG implementation aspect of bifrequency DP problem. We have shown the hardware implementation detail and we have made a comparative study of power spectral density and we have shown also what is the impact on the transient performance and that performance impact was insignificant, but we got considerable reduction in the spectral peak by this bifrequency problem. That is it for today. Thank you very much.